What's up YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Got this old trick that I used to do to be able to check the actual gear ratios in the back of my Fox body axles I wanna share with you today. So if that's something that interests you, make sure you hit that like and subscribe and let's get on into it. short video we're going to be talking about how you can check what kind of gear ratio you have in your car without actually taking the diff off but since this car doesn't have a drive line in it it's going to be pretty easy to find out what this roller came in with so let's go need a uh, paint marker you got a paint marker over there We're going to go ahead and jack this car up. It's not going to be a very long video. So we'll get it centered on the dip, get the tires off the ground, put a couple jack stands down. Now this is particularly useful for people who uh, mess around in Fox bodies all the time. Um, legitimately, you got to have both wheels spinning at the same time. So when, when, when I start to spin them, all I got to do is count the differential um, rotations marked in two spots. I'll show you that under the car. What I'm going to do here is mark the differential and inside the tire right here. It's going to be pretty easy to do. I'll show you. All right. So what Cousin Paul is about to do is he's about to make one revolution on this tire for me. And as long as both tires are spinning straight, it won't be an issue and you can see i marked the the flange and the diff housing so all i gotta do is count the rotations go ahead and start slowly so they're both moving i should get a good accurate count one two Still looking for that. We're going to go ahead and keep going. All right, we're at three. Keep, keep going just a little bit more. Stop. So usually three right there. Where's our work at? See that? Okay. So it looks like I need to go another little bit, right? So it goes up. Yep, that's 327. See this? I made 3.25 revolutions around here, which is pretty much accurate for being a 327 gear ratio. So this is, so this is a factory gear ratio inside of this uh, this differential, which is actually a pretty cool turbo gear. As you see the mark still, it comes with it's at six o'clock again. So there you have it. It's an easy, tricky way to figure out what gear ratio you have. As long as both are spinning uh, freely, you can just count the revolutions around the pinion flange and the differential and, you know, um, two, two and three quarter turn would be 273s, three full turns would be 308s, three and a quarter turns would be 327s, three and a half would be 355s, three and three quarter would be 373s, you know, and four would be 410s, etc., etc. So it's pretty easy math, it's pretty silly. So that's about right. Um, automatic starting in 90, late 90, started coming with a 327 gear, whereas the, uh, the, the five speed started coming with a 308. Pretty safe to say that 87 to 89 five speeds were 273. Like I said, the five speeds switched to a 308 in late 90, the same as the autos, if I remember correctly. So 327 is actually a pretty cool gear. It's a uh, it's a low gear, but it's it's a pretty cool factory gear. Now, if you had put a five speed in there, it'd probably be a little bit more exciting. But if you guys enjoy the channel, just showing you how to do some Fox body stuff. That's an old trick that's been around in the books and I'm trying to figure out gear ratio and an axle. As long as both wheels are spinning, uh, shouldn't be a problem. So. All right, that's pretty much all I got for you guys. Short, simple, to the point. No tools minus the jack. I mean, it is what it is. Now, these are some of these old school tricks that I've learned over the years messing around with Fox bodies. So I wanted to share them. I'm not gonna waste your time on a 10 minute video explaining how to do it. It's pretty simple, it's pretty easy, and it's pretty accurate. However, if you got a type of axle that's not an 884, Ford, I'd be curious in the comments below if this actually works on those other axles, as I'm pretty sure it does on pretty much all posi limited slip axles. So, But this is what I do when I get a Fox body axle or I'm not sure what the gear ratio is. 
just pop it up and spin it around and knowing all the Ford gears that came factory or even most of the aftermarket ones, you can pretty much do simple math. So guys, if you enjoy videos like this, if you enjoy me talking and bringing stuff like this to the channel, make sure you comment below, hit that like and subscribe and check out that join button below for the channel memberships. And I appreciate everybody who supports the channel. I will see you guys soon in the next video. Have a good weekend. Yeah. <laughs>